Good afternoon. Um, today we're going to talk about dropping the lies and speaking your truth. In fact, this is the truth you can handle. Uh, if you say yes, this broadcast, you'll, this will make more sense, but I'll give you some more information about that in a moment. Um, but let me choose myself first. So, hi, my name is Barry Selby. Different venue, and I'll explain that as well in a moment. Um, if you haven't seen my broadcast before, this makes no sense, but if you haven't seen my broadcast before, you know this is a different venue than usual, different backdrop. I'll explain that in a moment. Um, hi, Gina, and I see my broadcast. So, introductions. My name is Barry Selby, in case you haven't figured it out. I am an inspirational speaker, spiritual guide, love and relationships expert, helping women create balance in love, life, and business. I'm also a best-selling author of the book, 50 Ways to Love Your Lover, a book for singles and couples, and I'm a passionate champion for the divine feminine, which is why I help women create balance in love, life, and business, as I mentioned. And also, I do these talks every day now for uh, almost three years. In fact, I did post a broadcast today that was three years ago. Yeah, it was, it was three years ago. That was the first rant that led me to these talks. So it's been three years, basically. So today's, top, today's broadcast is number 862. Yes, I've done a bunch of these, and I'll tell you at the back end where you can find the replays. And today I'm talking about part two of what I said yesterday, talked about yesterday, which is about you can't handle the truth and the lies and the stuff we tell ourselves, this sort of stuff. So I want to give you another spin, which will give you new direction, give you an upwards, upward focus, and a transformational experience, I hope. So before I get into that, though, let me explain the environment, because you may be wondering, you're like, where's the normal backdrop? Um, I mentioned yesterday that I wasn't sure on my schedule this, this weekend, but today, so far, I'm good at doing it at 5 p.m. Pacific time, as I promised to do every day. Um, I'm sending the weekend at my friend Deborah Kagan's event called uh, the Rock Your Mojo Weekend. Excuse me, Rock Your Mojo Women's Weekend. Yes, I'm a women's weekend, <laughs> which I'm very humbled and grateful. I'm I'm one of the only men in the room. I'm I'm probably the um, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm the focused man in the room. Let's put it that way. I'm actually a photographer and a friend, and I stand for the masculine, and she knows that, which is why she has me in the room as a guest, and also as I come in the room to hold the space. So even there's gonna be most, it's all be women in the room, the staff are women. The only the other men in the room are the guys doing the sound AV at the back, and one of the get no, one of the guest speakers maybe I'm not sure. Yes, one of the guest speakers. He's a friend of mine. Um, so anyway, so that's why I'm at the hotel, which is why I'm shooting this. I'm gonna be here all weekend, um, so I'll be shooting from different places I can find where I can get Wi-Fi and a decent backdrop <laughs> with no disturbance to do these talks. So. Um, and you can look at my wall for a post about this event if you want to check out more information about it. So it's in LA, in Marina del Rey, all weekend. You can join in if you want to come in tonight or tomorrow. Um, yeah, anyway, back to the talk. So today, this is the truth you can handle. So stop lying and start seeking your truth. And what I'm speaking to in particular is how, in this talk, we've got a really bad habit. We, including me, yes, we have a bad habit of shooting ourselves in the foot when it comes to self-support. maybe you've had this experience and if you're a human being who's got a heart you probably have well you may have done something maybe you did something stupid in quotes and because you hurt somebody else's feelings or you did something where you maybe crashed a car in somebody else or something you know from from massive to minor and you've judged yourself as somehow inadequate foolish clumsy not worthy that sort of path you know that you've been down that path before i know i have it's a trap that I know that we as human beings fall into, especially if you have any sense of, well, if you have a conscience, if you have any sort of concern for the other people, it's, ten, it's tempting to sort of get a place of self, <laughs> self-flagellation. <laughs> but the truth is, there's no need to keep doing that. Yes, there may be a certain sense of, well, I need to be humble because if I did something wrong, I should be taking down a peg or two because somebody told us that's the rules. But then we keep doing it and doing it and doing it. We never remember that it's okay to start cheering ourselves on. Frankly, we could all do better if we were our own personal cheerleader. In the mirror, like in the morning. I know some people who do this, but not many people do. Well, in the mirror in the morning, they'll look in the mirror, they'll look in their own eyes and go, you know, you got this, you can make it happen. The challenge with that though, just to, just to cut that one off, is for many people when they do that, they're actually calling this, um, this paradigm of ego-driven satisfaction or ego-driven upliftment versus heart-driven. You see, I'm passionate about people supporting themselves, absolutely. If you've seen my book, I should know I'm talking about that a lot, and in my coaching I do that. But it's not just a mental paradigm of just retraining the brain to go positive, 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 and hope it all works out. My focus, as you may have guessed from all the things I've talked about, is on the heart, not the mind. And the, tr- and the truth, since we're about truth, is the mind is more powerful than the heart, excuse me, the heart is more powerful than the mind, I almost switched it. 
And when you start to really get clear about how much you care about yourself, yes, care, those soft terms like care, love, compassion, um, respect, are all things we can do for ourselves but we don't do. We may sort of go up in our ego and say, well, I'm going to get this done, I'm going to kill it, I'm going to crush it. That's the terms a lot of people use in business. I'm like, why do you want to use destructive terms for your success? For me, it counts counterintuitive. And it, I realize I'm giving you like 17 different pieces, but to come back to the center point is that we spend a lot of our times up here. And as I've said before in other talks, and I learned this from one of my teachers, is they say that, you know, the mind is a great servant, but a terrible master. The heart is the true master. But we don't often make that a priority. We tend to make that a secondary place. For men especially, let me be clear, men do that much more than women do. But women who've been in business, who basically have been copying what the men do, are doing the same thing that men are doing, which is not functional. And that's where we start lying to ourselves. Because when we don't include our heart in our decisions, when we don't include our heart in our self-support, when we don't include our heart in our communications, we're negating a large part of who we are, which basically is the same thing as lying. And it's time, I believe, that we speak from our truth, from our heart, from our authentic, um, say, inclusivity, but from our true nature in every communication, especially with our loved ones. The piece I wanted to talk about today, although I've gone around it in several different places, is that it's time we start becoming our own cheerleaders from our heart. So heartfelt, loving, kind, compassionate cheerleaders that really help us be what we want to be. And having the understanding that our true um, resource, our true support system is infinite, constant, vigilant, and supportive of who we are all the time. And it resides right in here. But we forget that. I, I've been talking about self-love a lot in my, in, for the last couple of years. And I created a self-love meditation last year, and I'll put a link in the comments afterwards, which is a guided meditation to remember to love yourself. Because if you just did that, if you just simply said in the mirror in the morning, and you put your hand over your heart, and you connected to yourself in the mirror, and you spent some time looking in your own eyes saying, I love you, saying it to yourself gently, repeatedly, firmly, and convinc well, not convincingly, but authentically, you'd be amazed how much your life changes. That switch alone, that shift alone, will change your relationship with yourself, you'll change your relationship with everybody else in the world, everybody else in the world, near and far, whether it's your clients, your employers, your kids, your family members, your partner, any of those things, all of those relationships will change when the one inside changes. That's kind of, that kind of may be obvious. But this is my piece to give you as a message today, is that loving yourself first, supporting yourself first, that's being honest, that's telling your truth. This is the truth you can handle which is that you are worthy, that you are deserving, that you are compassionate, that you are kind, that you are all these different things I'm talking about, you have those. Now, those people who, are not, who I don't know watching this, it's true for you too. It's not like I'm saying it's just to my friends. It's true for all of us, us inclusive, right? So practicing something as simple as a self-love meditation, my, the one I have that I offer on my self on website, is five minutes in the morning and five minutes in the evening. Specifically guided, effective, and powerful. If you could spend 10 minutes a day, total, looking in the mirror, remembering who you are, supporting yourself, inspiring yourself, loving yourself, the truth that you own, the truth that you, that you honor, the truth that you express is the truth that you need, need to embody. I've been pedantic about this, I know, and, and I've been, um, Repetitive, <laughs> because it's true. And it's fundamental that in every area of our lives, especially in relationships, the more we come from our heart and express our heart to ourselves first, the more we can function effectively in every single relationship. I think uh, that was really the point I was gonna make. I was thinking there's anything more, and it's, it's, it's kind of a, a simple talk. But I want to make this one clear because I know this weekend with the women, it's going to be a, a, a reminder for all of the women to really own and respect their love for themselves, to really honor who they are. As it's called, it's the Mojo, um, Rocky Mojo Weekend. But it really is about heartfelt connection with ourselves. That's the way that Deborah teaches it. And I love this event as well. I've been here. I've been here like five, six times staffing the event um, as a photographer and also as a, as a space holder. And so this, is, this message is really what's going to happen this weekend. I may talk about it more tomorrow and Sunday as well. We'll see. 
but I want to speak about it today as an inclusion from yesterday because yesterday I did drop some potent reminders that we often tell ourselves lies and so my encouragement to you is start telling yourself the truth you can handle the truth you do deserve the truth your self-validation from your heart is the truth it doesn't matter what anybody else says so your homework assignment if you choose to accept I would say get my self-love meditation but I'm not going to force that on you I recommend it but you, you can do it if you want but spend some time with your hand over your heart connecting to who you are every day maybe first thing in the morning when you get up or the last thing at night either way or both both is good and focus on the love that you already are appreciate yourself honor respect and celebrate yourself independent of anything that happened to you from you around you by you today or yesterday or tomorrow focus on your own self support truly it will change your life and it will change every single relationship so self love is a cornerstone as I mentioned but also telling yourself the truth about how amazing you really are yes even you are amazing because it's not about what you think you are it's not about what you say you are it's about who you really are and the heart speaks volumes that sounds profound enough so having said all that I will put the link in the comments for myself on meditation and a couple of the links I'll put in there my books I mentioned it and also I'll put a link in the comments for a reach out to me if you want to chat so those three things will be in the comments because I want to support you and if this is if this is starting to touch you nudge you challenge you some ways good it's not that it's not that complicated but it can be that um, paradigm shifting so if it's helping you um, this is my daily Facebook live by the way if you haven't seen me broadcast before I do this every day on Facebook or they're usually a different backdrop this is a different backdrop as I mentioned because I'm at an event this weekend um, and this is um, my mission to serve to inspire and to awaken so if you haven't seen me broadcast before I do this every day at 5 p.m. Pacific time usually on my uh, Facebook on my personal page on Facebook which is Barry Selby um, I hope this weekend it'll be 5 p.m. but it might shift because of the schedule of the weekend I'm not sure yet uh, replays you can find on my business page most of them are on there not all of them but because Facebook doesn't save them all for some reason but I've got about three or four hundred of them on my Facebook wall which on my sorry on my business page which is Barry Selby the author you can like my page and watch them there but all of them for sure are on my YouTube channel because I'm been backing them up so if you go to my YouTube channel which is Barry Selby there's a playlist on there called messages from the masculine subscribe to my YouTube channel watch them there and uh, and watch your uh, watch your life transform with that thank you for watching I will see you again tomorrow probably the same time we'll see take care of yourself love yourself tell yourself the truth because you deserve it I thank you for watching I'll see you again tomorrow same time maybe definitely the same channel and uh, that's it take care bye